Uh, welcome, everyone, to Inside the Huddle on the Muskie Sports Network. I'm Tom Cardell, and joining me today is Muskingum head bowling coach Doug Smith. Coach, welcome to Inside the Huddle. Thank you, Tom. It's great to be here. You know, Coach, exciting time now for the bowling program at Muskingum. Uh, for the first time since its debut here on the campus, it's now been added into the varsity sport lineup, uh, which would be great for you and your guys and girls on your team. Um, can you talk to me about your involvement and background in bowling and how you came about to be Muskingum's head coach? Yes, I've been coaching bowling for 16 years. I started out at Zanesville High School as the head bowling coach, where I was there for eight years. And then I've been at Muskingum ever since. I've been asking Muskingum to start a program when I was at the high school level because I wanted a local school, a local university to have a program so that local students could go to it and further their education. So. I was excited when Muskingum came to me, and uh, I'm awfully glad that they did, and I've enjoyed it since. You know, you talked about the journey since you've been here. I mean, the program has had a tremendous amount of success uh, regionally, nationally. Uh, what is it about the Muskingum Bowling Program that separates it from other programs uh, that offer bowling? Well, you and I know that Muskingum separates itself in general. The students come here because they know they're going to get a quality education. We are ranked eighth regionally in the United States. Uh, we offer the most grant money to students in need in the state of Ohio. We're the fifth cheapest school by average in the state of Ohio. So the parents and students know they're going to get a quality education here. And that's really what they're looking for. And that's what we sell them uh, about Muskingum, as well as bowling. Obviously, they're good bowlers, very good students, and we have recognized them for that. We want them here to uh, further pursue their goals in bowling. And when they come here, they get a very personal uh, education and they get a lot of coaching while on the lanes. There we go. Uh, there we go. Uh, <laughs> sorry. My dick calling me, calling me. <laughs> Dang, got it. Hey, that's the that's the world we live in now, right? Dog, I mean, the technology world. You don't know what's going to happen. Um, you know, you hit it. You hit, you, hit it, you hit it on the head. I mean, they're here as student athletes, and uh, to get the education, which is so important, also to compete for for the Muskies uh, at the bowling alley. Um, what is it that you and your staff do to help your student athletes be successful in the classroom? Well, uh, we emphasize the classroom from day one, from the very first time we begin recruiting them. Education is more important than bowling. It's not about the bowling. And uh, we try uh, to make it uh, almost as easy as possible to do well here at Muskingum, as well as Muskingum does. You know we have the free tutoring on campus besides, yeah. besides that. But we also, as a bowling program, get them a mentor. Uh, uh, so that student, when they come in their freshman year, they have a young student, student as a mentor someone that is in their major and is doing very well and that freshman can go to them once a week for sure maybe more depends on the mentor and them and get help with help with their homework and find out, find out how to acclimate to this uh, college life and what's going on so we provide that and, and then obviously we have a study table uh, to emphasize again getting the good grades and staying eligible to bowl Obviously, if you're eligible to bowl, which you have to have a two-point GPA minimum to bowl here, you're going to go, and, that, and that's that's the whole thing. Bowling is there to help students get to graduate and to motivate them to stay in school. Right, that's awesome. And taking advantage of the resources available on our campus, connecting them with mentors who are already here and acclimated to the college life. Um, that sounds like a great way for freshmen to come in and make such a smooth transition uh, from high school to college. Uh, you know, this past summer, uh, we talked a little bit about it. Uh, you spearheaded the formation of the Ohio Bowling Conference. Um, can you talk to me about what that means uh, for Muskingum Bowling and for bowling in general? The Ohio Bowling Conference, I saw the need out there. Many of us were club sports. Now, you know, we're going to be part of the varsity program, but we still have to raise a little bit of money to do what we need to do. A lot of club sports, they're paying their own way, the students are. Mm -hmm. So... I decided to form the Ohio Bowling Conference so that all the students in Ohio, and we have every university but four participating. We have 21 now universities 
uh, participating, and that means 56 total teams would be coming to a tournament. And we keep the costs down. We make sure that no team has to do an overnight stay, um, and the entry fee is cheap, it's cheap. And then you have to feed your students maybe just two meals. So it keeps the cost way down for those club sports. And now the sport of bowling is going to grow because schools are able to, to have now two teams, maybe both a men's and a women's instead of a mix. And, and benefiting Muskingum, obviously, it keeps our costs down. All of our bowling tournaments are in centralized. So they're in Columbus. We only have to have travel an hour. Uh, have late checked on yeah. so that's why we don't have an overnight stay. It just keeps costs really down for all programs in the state of Ohio. We accomplish the same goal rather than uh, bowling very early in the morning, having to spend the night, and then maybe bowling both a Saturday and a Sunday, which there's an overnight stay. And uh, it just made a whole lot of sense to me. As the Ohio, as the Ohio colleges decided that was good for them as well. And we've got some other schools to just border the state of Ohio that want to come join us as well for those very same reasons. And so if it wasn't for the coronavirus, uh, I think we would have grown the largest conference in the country. I mean, that is an awesome concept that you brought to reality. Also, I'm sure that the parents love the fact now of a centralized location, closer and easier for some of them to get to watch their sons and daughters compete and to see the magnitude of that kind of conference. It's only going to grow. Um, and you'll see other areas around the country try to emulate that as well to grow their bowling. Um, Doug, you've talked a lot about how, how well you guys do with the education process. Uh, bowling is speaking for itself. What's the best way right now if I'm a recruit in the area, in the region, and I'm thinking I want to bowl at the college level to get a hold of you? Well, uh, obviously, our, web, our website, with easy to get to, miskingham.edu backslash bowling. And then we do have the new recruiting uh, page on the varsity page now. So they'll be able to go to one spot here eventually as we get it up and running and click on that and fill out the, the information. I give an immediate reply. I'm in my office every day and uh, I'll start, I'll make phone calls and so on. But we also get out in, in, into the uh, country, really, in the state of Ohio and uh, recruit. So they'll see us at various tournaments where we set up a booth, get them to get their information and talk to them personally. Uh, we sponsor our own high school tournaments, one in Canton and one in Wilmington, Ohio. We're working on a third one at this moment. And we just try to go as many places as we possibly can and uh, recruit the best student bowler find. find. I mean, that's, that's you know, the way you're doing that, getting out, putting your face out, people getting to know you, getting to know Muskingum. And here in the very near future, uh, instead of going to muskingum.edu backslash bowling, fans will be able to find it on findingmuskies.com or the drop down menus for men to women's sports. There'll be the bowling pages there with all the information as well. Uh, recruiting forms are already on that site. Uh, here in the very near future, all the information will be transitioned over to findingmuskies.com. Uh, one of the things I think is also going to be a big benefit uh, to Boeing, I think it would be a great sell for you, is Muskingum's new health and wellness complex project. $30 million state-of-the-art project can be in the center of our campus. Um, how will that help you even more when you're talking to recruits about Muskingum? Well, it's state-of-the-art, and uh, a, lot of, a lot of students and parents would like to see that. And, and doing this uh, also means that they have a better opportunity to learn and uh, to make a better impact on this community here at Muskingum, as, as well as when they get out and into their world and their job market, they're going to have the increased technology that's going to be in that. And uh, as for me, as a certified trainer, a trainer, and a softball coach as well, uh, I would be thoroughly pumped for that new building uh, with all the health and wellness uh, that right at your fingertips and being able to practice year round. And as far as selling the bowlers, they're going to see that building and it's just a wow factor. I mean, here they are and they can use it. They're going to have classes in there. Uh, they're going to be able to work out in there. You want to go run the track inside. You know, we're going to be able to do some fitness stuff in there during the year. And it's right on campus. We don't have to go anywhere. And because of its size, it's going to be available to a lot of the students all, all the time. So uh, excited about it, about it. We think that it will draw students to Muskingum. It's right in the heart of the campus. It's going to be the highlight of the campus when it's finished. 
Uh, parents already love the quaintness, and students do as well, of the, of the campus. Uh, Quad is fantastic. They, they love that, all the classes right there in, in basically one spot. And then you just walk over from your dorm, so to speak, and you're in the health and wellness pro, uh, complex. Uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be tremendous stuff. I mean, you, you hit it perfectly. I mean, it's going to be a game changer, a highlight on our campus. It's going to combine athletics, academics, the community, fitness, classes being held in there. I mean, it really encompasses everything that Muskingum is about. And we're fall 22, I and mean, it's going to rapidly approach and be here before we know it. Uh, Coach, I want to thank you for uh, taking some time today to talk bowling here with us on Inside the Huddle. And I look forward to reconnecting with you again here in the near future uh, and diving deeper into bowling as a sport and into your background. And uh, we can get a coffee with coaches going and people know even more about you. Thank you. I appreciate it very much. All right, Coach, thanks a lot. Have a great day and go Muskies. Thank you. Go Muskies.